Welcome to my video on this new harp called the Tulip 40. It is a lovely harp for students and both children and adults looking for a lovely option that is not line and healy, kamak or salvi or dusty strings. What I like about this harp is that first it is a full 40 string harp. It goes from this low A all the way up to an E. It is lighter and a little bit smaller and more compact than this troubadour harp over here and the concert grand. This harp is about 60 inches tall, where the troubadour harps are typically 65 inches tall. Um, this one weighs about 33 pounds, where the other ones weigh up to 44 pounds and 38 pounds. So for a person who would like to move the harps more often, this is lighter and smaller. Yet, the sound is not compromised. In fact, I think this has a brighter, more um, projecting sound. It has a very bright and clear tone to it. But I like the tone as a new harp. It's very crisp and friendly. Also, it has a fantastic range. Um, the troubadour harps are only 36 strings and a lot of concert music you need that final A, where on this harp it actually goes down that far. They did not compromise the levers. The levers are very nice. They're to pitch. They slide well. They have a nice grip to them. The pegs are well fitted. So this strings, these um, come with nylon strings to here, and then a new synthetic, which I haven't heard of before, and after doing some reading and listening. You can either keep the sugar strings or you can change them over to the traditional gut. Both of them will be fine. And then the traditional wound strings down here. What I like about this harp is the price point is lower. This would go for about 3,500, where a troubadour harp starts about 3,700 to 800, going up to normally between four to five thousand dollars. A prelude or an Anna harp, they start around 5,500 and go up to 6,000. So this is comparable to a harp that you can find that's petite or a 36 to a 26 strings. Um, so you get more harp for less money. Um, you also get more sound for less money. I think this would be a great rental harp too if you were to buy and to rent or if you wanted to uh, take home and use this as your um, be all end all harp. Any student who's looking to then go up to a pedal harp wouldn't be losing much. The tension is a little bit lighter. This middle range here, it's more tight than a Celtic harp or a Dusty Strings or Triplet, but it is less tight than the Troubadour harps here. Now, the reason the Troubadour harps were made were to keep the tension similar to a pedal harp. With this tension being the same as a pedal harp, but without the whole harp, the sound quality got compromised. So these harps are known for great harp tension, but low sound quality. You get a thuddy sound, especially if you use nylon, it does not sound very pleasing. This harp, they made a slightly lighter tension, more than the triplets, but less than the troubadours. And I think that is a good compromise as it brings out the sound quality. If you are going to be switching up to a pedal harp, you will need to learn to get a little bit stronger fingers once you're on the pedal harp. If you are going to stay as a lover harpist, then this is a fantastic middle. Another thing I noticed is it scaled a little bit smaller. So I'm sitting on a lower bench right now, but with the scaling being smaller, it's perfect for young children, maybe five, six, seven and up. 
I've had some young people sit on it and with this nice round back here, it fits really nice in the shoulders. It's lighter, so young people have no problem with it and they can feel like they're on a concert grand harp right away from the beginning. Um, if you're an adult beginner, what the advantages are is it looks like a beautiful um, professional harp and it sounds very comparable to all the other student models out there. And so you can get a full sounding harp without getting a pedal harp. Other than that, I think the thing I was most pleased with was um, how bright and cheerful the tone was. In, in my studio, it's very resonant. Mm -hmm.